Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Dustin. Welcome back to the channel. We've got some things to talk about. I'm tired of people telling other people how to live their flight sim life. And you might be thinking, DG, what does that even mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're going to be breaking it down in today's video. Stick around. One of the most beautiful things about Microsoft Flight Simulator is the fact that we have nearly limitless possibilities when it comes to where and what to fly. If you were to fly every plane available from every handcrafted airport at the standard game, averaging one hour per flight, it would take you 25 days of non-stop flying to complete your journey. Additionally, if you were to fly every airplane from every airport in the game, all 40,000 of them, it would take approximately 91 years to do. You better get started. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you like exploring the Alaskan wilderness in the Cub, that's great, go do that. If you like challenging island takeoffs from Gustav III in a twin prop, that's awesome. Do it. If you like wide body IFR conditioned takeoffs from Gatwick because none of our computers can handle 60 FPS at Heathrow yet, then do it. If you like taking the Grand Caravan in your most favorite livery of all time, link in the description below, on a sightseeing tour of your hometown, then do it. Lastly, if you like taking the Eurofighter for a spin around the mock loop, do it. What do you think this is, DCS? There's no fighter jets here. And now my friends, we get back to our opening comment. I am tired of people telling others how they should enjoy Microsoft Flight Simulator. As we near the release of the new DC Designs F-15, I've seen many other content creators' videos and posts on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I see many negative replies to these posts regarding military aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. These comments often revolve around the fact that you can't use the weapons in Microsoft Flight Simulator, or how the sim is intended to be a commercial or general aviation simulator, not a military simulator. While these statements are true, it is clear that a majority of the people that play Microsoft Flight Simulator are not in it for the study level, ultra-realistic settings. A vast majority of the people that play are casual flyers. They look for adventures. They play career mods such as on air, or perhaps even enjoy a regional flight after a long day of work. And yes, some of them even enjoy flying military jets from time to time. In fact, statistics would say a lot of people enjoy flying military jets. At the time of this recording, there are only two military jets available for the simulator from reputable dealers. They are the Eurofighter Typhoon and the MB339, both of which are currently sitting number one and number two on the Sim Marketplace best-selling list, respectively. It is important to think about Microsoft Flight Simulator as a content creation platform, just like YouTube or Twitch. By the way, we stream every Tuesday and Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on Twitch. Come check it out. <coughs> but what does it mean to be a content creation platform? Well, it means third-party creators will make a variety of mods, aircrafts, and scenery for the simulator, some of which you will enjoy, some of which might not be your cup of tea. And that's okay. Just get the ones you like. If you do or do not get the PMDG 737 when it comes out in six years, that's great. If you do or do not get the DC F-15, good for you. These are choices that only affect you and your own experience in the simulator. It really hurts me to see a few members of the community putting people down for how they choose to enjoy flight sim. The beautiful thing about Flight Sim is that none of us will ever have the exact same experience. We will never have the same stories, and we will never have the same trials and triumphs. But when we share these stories and experiences in a positive way, that truly becomes the hallmark of an amazing community. This is my belief and something I hold very near to my heart. I hope to embody this in my YouTube and Twitch communities as well. I guess the moral of the story here is, enjoy the sim how you want, and support others that might choose to enjoy it in a different way. After all, we are one community. We should support each other in the skies we fly together and on the internet we surf together. Thank you so much for making it this far in the video. Let me know what you think. If you agree or disagree, drop a comment. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you follow and subscribe for more content just like this. We are on the road to 100 YouTube subscribers and 200 Twitch followers. I can't wait to see you become part of our growing community. Thanks again for watching. On the left is another one of our adventures and on the right is a great place to click subscribe. Thanks again for flying Wallach Air. We'll see you in the next one.